Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this sports poster. Now it doesn't have to be Super Bowl themed, it could be uh, soccer, cricket, rugby, uh, NBA, anything there that your heart desires. Okay, it's just going to be a simple sports poster for someone who's new to Photoshop and wants to create uh, like a flyer or something for an event or I don't know, a social engagement. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So as you can see here on this image, Okay, we've, uh, we've blurred out the clouds, we've added our players, done some light effects, and we've added the text. Now, yesterday I was walking through Liverpool, and uh, I saw this outside a bar, and I thought, yeah, looks, uh, looks fantastic, looks good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tutorial on it. So this is where I got my uh, inspiration from for this uh, sports poster for Super Bowl 54. So, I'm working on a Mac, so I'm going to press Command N for a new document. Or if you're working on Windows, you can just press uh, Control M and it'll bring it up. Now I'm going to work on 1200 by 1800, 300 pixels per inch, orientation, uh, portrait, RGB color, 8 bit, and a white background. And I'm going to click Create. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in my clouds. So I'm going to go to and latest tutorial, and I've got my clouds, and I'm going to drop them in. Okay, so I'm just going to size them up. So um, while it's got this um, this frame up, okay, for my constraints, I'm just going to hold Shift and Alt, and it's just going to grow in proportion. Now, if I didn't hold Alt, um, it would just grow from uh, from the opposite uh, corner from what I'm using or the opposite side. And if you didn't hold either, okay, it just means you can uh, have different shapes and stuff. So press Command Z to go back. Control Z. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Shift and Alt. So it's going to grow in proportion. And if you notice, it's growing from the center because it's following from this little uh, this little dot here. So if I move that down to the bottom and press Shift and Alt, okay, it'd grow out from the center there. Grow out from the bottom. But I want it from the center. So just a little bit of information for you there. So I'm just going to close it down a little bit, and I'm going to size it up. And I do want a little bit of light in this. So uh, I'm probably going to go for something like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to blur it. So I'm going to go to convert to smart object. Okay, so this means we can re-edit it at any point. I'm going to name those clouds. Okay, so now it's a smart object. That means you can go back and edit it. I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to, go to blur, and I'm going to go to Gaussian blur. And I've chosen uh, 10 pixels, and if you just unclick this preview box, you can see the difference that you make. So it's just to uh, soften it up, so I'm going to hit OK. So notice you, uh, it's come down here on my on my layer, which means I can edit it. It's fantastic. So I'm going to just add a curves adjustment layer, in fact, to levels. So I'm going to go to levels, OK, and I want it to directly work on the clouds. It doesn't really matter, because um, everything's going to be on top. But if you wanted to, we're going to create a clipping mask, which is this little icon here. Or you can just hold Alt and hover till you see this icon and click it. Now what this means is this adjustment layer will only directly affect the layer, the main layer underneath. And I'm going to slide it um, along to about 30, uh, 20, we'll go for 20. Yep, brilliant. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in uh, my players. Now, I've got this image before, okay, and to save time, I've already uh, pre-cut the, uh, the document, okay, so you can just hit the pen tool, and if you're unfamiliar with the pen tool, there's quite a lot of tutorials out there, but simply click a point, and I'll just work a few pixels in, click another point, and then you can bend and drop and drag and create the shape. Now, if you hold Alt, you can then affect this little anchor there and in the direction that you want to go, and you can just move up. And around and it doesn't have to be perfect okay just take your time cutting it out okay uh, using the pen tool can be quite time consuming um, and labor intensive but I do prefer it so um, yeah I would would uh, strongly uh, recommend uh, using the pen tool to cut out so anyway without further ado I'll hit the V once you've cut out okay make your selection um, and once you've got your selection, press Command J when you've got the marching ants, and then you've got your player here. If you're unfamiliar, just go to a few of my other tutorials, 
and I cover this subject loads, so I don't really want to go into it too much. So I've got my players here, and I'm just going to drag just there, and I'm going to place them down the bottom, and they should lock in. So I press Command T, and I hold Shift and Alt. Okay, it's just growing up. Just going to move it up, and I'm just going to slide them across, and I would like their hands in. Uh, not all the fingers. I think that's looking good. So let's have a look how I did it on this one. Uh, yeah, this is about the same. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm going to select this levels layer. I'm going to hit a new layer. I'm going to hit uh, D. So I've got black and white on my palette there. And then I'm going to press X to swap them around. Hit B for my brush tool. Okay, I'm going to select a nice soft brush. Okay, notice it's quite small. Want a quite large brush. Okay, I've got my flow down just there, put it up to try 20. Okay. Okay, now we're just gonna add some light in and around. So we're adding that glow. We can just add some there and just tap away. Maybe some coming from that corner up there. So it's these areas here where it gets uh, in the corners, that's where I'm, I'm going to uh, apply more of the light. Yeah, and then you can use my bracket keys just to make it bigger. There we go. It's looking fantastic and I might a little bit more light coming from all over. Yep, so that's looking good. So we've added our light effect there, so you can see the difference that we've made. So just remember, this is just a real basic tutorial. There's nothing uh, too crazy that's going to be going on. Apologies there, that's Sky News alerting me to something. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a uh, few layers. Um, so I'm going to click there, new layer. Okay, I'm going to hold Alt, so I'm going to create that clipping mask. So now, when I hit the B for the brush tool, okay, if I'm painting here, nothing's happening, but if I drag it across, you can see it's only affecting the layer directly underneath this layer here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to paint on in those corners where the light is escaping through. Now, use your bracket keys, take your time. Okay, appreciate, apologise, I'm rushing because of the tutorial. Well, really take your time these areas here. So if you've got a player, it can be a soccer player, cricket player, whatever it is, okay, utilize those corners in the effect that we're trying to achieve. Just clicking away. Real small and get bigger. Okay, once, because I've not got the settings quite right, uh, when you put it on a mobile screen, it may look uh, slightly different as well. So um, you'll have to just test and adjust. Okay, once I've uh, done that, okay, um, appreciate I am rushing a little bit. Okay, I've taken my time. You can use like a, a yellow glow. So again, drag it over to the yellow and then just add a tinge of yellow on as well. Sunlight might be a little bit too strong. And yeah, come back. Yeah, just play around. I'm just going to give it a yellow tinge in those corners as well. Now, something else that you can do as well, if you just want to add extra effect, okay, um, click on your players layer, click the new layer, okay, and I've got it quite a high setting so you just paint around so the flow I'm probably going to drop it down to 10 okay you can just paint on as well like the glow that's coming around them so appreciate times flying but you get the idea of the effect that we're trying to achieve Especially when you paint on these corners as well, and just paint down. 
command zero. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, what we can do now is we can add uh, some shading as well. So we want that underneath. So again, select your players layer, and we're just doing the same again. Press X, get black on your palette over on the left here. Okay, and I would gonna drop the flow down two. I'm just gonna paint some shading on. Okay, I'll just give an example on the arms. Okay, you can really take your time. You can up the flow. And in these areas where the light is not gonna quite catch. And you can just add to the creases as well. So the example I'll, so I keep digressing a little bit so you can see the small difference we've made. If I go back to the previous one, get rid of that layer there, and you can see the difference I've made in the shade in there. So get down and use all these creases. What I'm also gonna do is, I'm gonna select my layers, players again, okay, and I'm just gonna uh, give them a curves layer. Yep, I'm gonna change that curves layer to color negative. I'm gonna change the blend mode to overlay, and I'm gonna drop the fill right down. Let me just check, was it color overlay I used? It was overlay, yeah, and it was opacity 12%. So apologize, so bring that fill right up, color negative, and then drop the opacity down to 12. Okay, it's just a small effect. Uh, nothing too crazy. And again, I'm just going to add a hue saturation layer. So select your players again. Adjustment layer at the bottom. And hue saturation. Okay, and just drop it down to minus 30. And it just gives it that um, bit of a low glow. Um, yeah, so fantastic. So uh, pretty much our players are done there. Okay, so nothing too fancy. Just uh, desaturated them so the text is there, then going to stand out. So press command zero, control zero, resizes it. Okay, I'm gonna hit the T for the text tool. Okay, now I'm using uh, Babas New, okay, uh, defont.com. I will link it in the description below. Just type in Babas New and uh, you'll find what you're looking for. And I'm just gonna do it, move the size up to 70. Um, Super Bowl. Now, if you want your uh, text to be perfectly aligned with the image, okay, click on this background layer at the bottom, okay, and you should see some rulers on the left and right of your Photoshop. If you don't, go to Windows and go down and find rulers. And I can't find them. Should be another bit. What I'll do is I'll put it in the description below. I'll find out where they are. And one of these, I don't want to mess around too much, it might already be in there. But you just want to drag across and it will lock in. There you go, so it's locked in. So I've got this uh, this thin blue line. So that's not actually part of my image. Okay, I'm going to set the Super Bowl there, press Command T. Okay, you can just use your arrow keys just to move it around into the middle. Okay, you can press Command H to get rid of that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is, so I want the uh, text effect that we saw before with this gradient. Okay, I'm just going to double click my layer. And you've got your layer style. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select stroke. Now stroke is uh, what goes on around the outside. So whenever you see a shape or something that says stroke, it's, it's the border basically. Now a white colour, I've gone for three pixels. I've placed the position on the outside uh, rather than the inside. Uh, looks a bit of a different effect, but I've gone for the outside. Blend mode normal, pass it 100. And then I've gone to... Gradient overlay. Okay, sometimes it does take a bit of playing around. It took me ages to play around with this yesterday. Okay, blend mode normal. I've got my passy at 100. Okay, my gradient. Okay, I've got for black in this corner on the left. I've gone for red on the right. I've aligned it with the layer. Okay, I've reversed it um, because I wanted the gradient going from dark at the bottom. It's linear as well. So if I did radial, okay, it'd just be in the middle. So click linear and 90 degrees, so it's coming from the bottom and I've done the scale at 150, okay? And it does take a little bit of playing around if your settings are all messed up. If you need to, just reset to default and uh, just play around from there and then click okay. 
Then I've gone, because uh, it's Super Bowl 54 again, so I can just try type live, Super Bowl 54 in Roman numerals, and we'll drop it to 50. In fact, Command A, highlight it all, and we'll drop it down to 50. Hit enter. Now our setting should already be uh, the same if you've already done it correctly. So check the stroke, check the gradient overlay, it comes straight on. Hit OK. Press Command H, press Command T, and it was already pretty much well aligned. Hit enter. OK, and then our last bit of text, we can go for new layer there. And I'm just going to, um, what did we have? Um, February, Command A, drop it down to 30. And I want this color to be white. In fact, what do we have? Sunday, 2nd of Feb. Sunday. Now, what I would like on this one is I'd like it in the middle of there. So select the live, drag a ruler down until it locks in the middle. Select your Sunday layer, press Command T, okay, and just align it up there. And you can bring an arrow in from the middle there. There we go. So Sunday, Command T, that's aligned there. And then when I write in on this side to Feb, Command T, in fact, just press V from the move tool and it should just automatically lock in. And there we go when you see those little purple lines, and uh, there we go. What we can also do is as well, if we hide our text layers for one second, so we'll hide them. So all your text layers should be above here. Select layer three, Command Shift, Alt and E. So we've got a stamp visible. Turn that into a smart object. Okay, go to Filter, Render, Lens Flare. Okay, and with 105 millimeter prime, you see this little arrow here, you can adjust it to where you want your light. Okay, we're going to get some uh, lens flares. I think that's okay there. And hit OK. And then we can just add our text on again. And there is our poster for the Super Bowl. So I hope that tutorial uh, was worthwhile. I tried to uh, keep it quite short. I've been going on 17, 18 minutes now. Okay. Um, thanks for watching. If you if you really if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, smash that like button. Go check out a load of my other videos. I like to do sports posters and be creative and uh, different ideas for flyers and social medias and Instagrams and whatnot. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've not done so already, hit subscribe and uh, follow me on Instagram for uh, updates on uh, my latest tutorials. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.